come pack it in. Let me begin. I'm here to get Colecchio Simile. Let me begin. Yet again, again, every single time I'm here. Oh, what's the answer? Uh, Colecchio Semele. Uh, how do the Vikings fix the O-line? Get Trade for Colecchio Semele. Sign a Colecchio Semele. Get Colecchio Semele no matter what. Yeah, so the Vikings, as they seek to improve the offensive line yet again this offseason, Pat Elfline is not the answer at left guard. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. That's right, after they get rid of 65. Anyways, enter free agent Kalechi Osemali, formerly of the New York Jets, as well as the Oakland Raiders, as well as the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, background on him, turns 31 in June, six foot five, 330 pounds, the pride of Iowa State. That's right, and every single time. Whether he is free agency or is on the trade block, I'm just like, give it to me, baby. Just one time. One time. One time. Uh, Assembly uh, was drafted by the Ravens. Uh, second round pick was a stud in Baltimore for a number of years. Uh, hit free agency. And as Ozzie Newsom is wont to do, I mean, they, they, they just draft dudes. And then they let them go other places instead of paying them big money. And then they get the sweet-ass compensatory picks. That's how we do for so many years. But anyways, signed with the Raiders, 2016, five years, $58.5 million deal, making him the highest-paid guard in the NFL at the time. Uh, the Vikings, they were in. Uh, Rick Spielman was like, hey, except they whiffed there. Great. Uh, played well with the Raiders uh, first couple years, but then uh, Gruden and Mayock were determined to undo everything that Reggie McKenzie did after Reggie brought them back from the brink of the shambles of the end of the Al Davis era. Uh, so they traded him and a sixth round pick to the Jets for a fifth round before the 2019 season, which was basically a salary dump. They're just punting. They're just like, whatever. And Assembly was just very unhappy with the Jets. I mean, the team fined him for sending out practices uh, when they accused him of not being injured which is always a great dynamic, which is a great franchise. That, one of the reasons why Kirk Cousins and Anthony DeBar didn't go to the Jets, yeah, besides other reasons. Uh, but eventually they cut him in October, and then he underwent shoulder surgery. Uh, so, uh, assembly, now you have a soon-to-be 31-year-old guard who basically quit on his team last year. You know, take that with a big grain of salt. Uh, coming off a of shoulder surgery, and you're telling me that this dude, this guy, would be a massive upgrade over Pat Elfline? Yes. Yes, a-, a thousand times yes, he absolutely would. Now, the thing about it is, he, he is not the Kalecchio assembly of 2014 to 2017. He ain't that guy, right? He is in decline, although with the shoulder surgery, maybe he catches a second win, uh, as a lot of veteran players do. Uh, but he's still a damn good left guard, and the Vikings' weakness on the offensive line is... Left guard. Yeah, is at the left guard position. And even though he, he he's not the perfect, agile uh, zone, uh, fit for the outside zone blocking scheme, uh, neither was Josh Klein. Uh, and even though he he did very well in 2019, he, there could be a legit argument that Klein was the Vikings' second best offensive lineman uh, last season. Uh, at a certain point, talent does trump scheme. And it's not like assembly would be necessarily a liability running zone. He's just better suited for a man gap running scheme. But also, I mean, just going to the other side, I mean, he he still is one of the the legit better uh, pass blocking guards uh, in the league. In 4,191 career pass blocking snaps, nailed it. Assembly has only allowed 142 pressures, which is a pressure rate uh, 3.39%, which is insanely low for a guard. 142 career pressures. Uh, A.K.A. That's the same amount that Elfline gave up against the Packers in the Monday night game last year. Bah! That's what happens. Also, Assembly has only given up 16 career sacks. So even if he isn't uh, as fleet of foot, he's still a legit boss when it comes to pass blocking. And bottom line, I, I think the Vikings, I mean, should go all in uh, to try and acquire Assembly, strengthen up a weakness. And I actually don't think that his free agent market is going to be huge because for all the li- reasons that we listed off, whatever happened with the Jets, he is 31 or going to be 31. Also, he's coming off a of shoulder surgery. So uh, I think his free agent market might be a little bit tepid. Could be in the five, six, seven million dollar a year range. Short term deal. See if he can strap it on for one more year. And then uh, eventually, if he turns out well, then bangs it out for one more uh, decent contract. I think that's it. I think that's fair at this point. Uh, but I still think that Assembly, uh, if that shoulder is right, still has about three to four years left of good football. And I think it's finally, finally time that we get him on the Vikings to fix the offensive line, then go win a dozen Jerome Bardies in 10 years. There you go. Anyways, your thoughts. Clutch Assembly. Sign with the Vikings? Question mark. Let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, follow us on the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. Until next time, Skull, production value.